The police body cam footage is difficult to watch. Rochester, New York police try to force a nine-year-old girl into the back of their squad car. She refuses and a struggle ensues, all as she screams nonstop for her dad. Officers wrestle the girl dressed in bright floral leggings to the snowy ground and put her in cuffs. The child continues screaming for her father. Cops urge the child to calm down. Take your breath. Stop. You're all right. Stop. The girl continues to resist as officers try to get her into the squad car. They say they were called to her home after a report of family trouble. Sit up. No. You're acting like a child. I want to Stop. Cry. I'm a child. A female officer then issues this warning. She'd better comply or she'll be pepper sprayed. Uh, yes. This is your last chance, otherwise, pepper spray is going in your eyeballs. Come on, let's go. Yeah. What's her name? I don't know her name. Finally, one cop has had enough. This prayer. No, this prayer at this point. The officer pumps out the pepper spray and the child screams for help. Today, the police officers find themselves under fire from their own police chief. I'm not going to stand here and, and tell you that for a nine-year-old to have to be uh, pepper sprayed is okay. It's not. The girl was transported to the hospital and has since been released to her family. Inside Edition spoke to retired LAPD Sergeant Cheryl Dorsey, who says, in her opinion, there was absolutely no need to pepper spray a child. She's in handcuffs. You're about to put her in the back of your police car. She won't put her legs in, so we pepper spray her. Is that what we do, officers? You get her little legs and you shove them in the car if you have to, and you close the door behind her.